Hello and welcome today. It's all about Marvel and DC and the mini hauls that I've been picking up over the last couple of weeks. I've just been too busy to show them off, so I thought I'd just do them in one video. So we're going to start off with the Spider-Man Final Battle, which is set number 76261. It's a beautiful set. I've already built it for an unboxing video, so that'll be going live sooner rather than later. So I've kind of cheated with this one. Now, you probably saw it in the photo. I've got this massive yellow bag that has just got full of stuff in all to do with Marvel and DC and some giveaway purchases as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a voiceover, go to the store, have a look at all the different bits and pieces that are on display, then we're going to come back to me and then I'm going to go through the rest of the haul. Right, we're away for a super short, quick video. So we've got about three minutes of snippets of all the different bits and pieces they got built up in the display cabinet. So that's the first time I've seen the cap shield made up. It did look very, very bright and vibrant. It did look very effective actually built. But obviously, I think it's one of those that is quite repetitive when you make it up. Then we have got the Quinjet just here. That is also in a massive sale because obviously the Avengers Tower is going to be announced soon. And I do believe it comes with its own Quinjet. Now, the diorama, I should have picked that up from Star Wars. I didn't. I will go back and get it because I think it does look very, very effective. Then we're moving on to the modules, the Jazz Club and the hotel i think side by side look very very effective i have at the club i just need the hotel and then i can add that in for my john wick display now that you know what this is the massive ucs set i didn't get much of it in this because the shop was so so busy but the store that i went to in canada it was very quiet so we did have a good 360 of that so if you want to hunt that one down it is in the lego stores playlist you've got the different brick heads i think that's the first time i've seen sonic and tails both made up again they did look nice the current giveaway purchase now i actually got this on the day of this being filmed because because of I broke the price point and I didn't even know that that was a giveaway until I walked into the store so that video is already live on the channel if you want to see that built up that thing had amazing detail now lots more brickheads all on display you can see they're a good fair price point between sort of 11 and 15 pounds I think depending on what they go for and obviously then you've got the larger multiple sets as well then you have some of the Indiana Jones stuff still out on display some of the st stock actually was slightly older I was quite surprised because they even had the Older Ninjago set as well. They didn't have the new one on display, even though you can tell where we're at with regards to what UCS sets on display. So I don't know if they just sold the last one in the cabinet and they put something else on display, but it was nice to see. So I thought, oh, yep, this is the new one. And it wasn't. But as I started panning up, I was like, oh, no, I've, I've already bought this one last year, but it's really nice and effective to see. I do love the colors on that thing. I think it does look very, very good indeed. That is on my list. I'm thinking of adding that into my own Ninjago section as the actual ride itself. I think that will work very well as an underwater thing. Now, obviously, me being here here on the time that it was everything was double points so if you did get anything over the double points week then obviously please do let us know we've also got black friday and cyber monday appearing as well and i think there'll be more double vip points on that now the one thing i do like about this store is that they have a lot of these bits and pieces so they have all sorts of random display pieces from different clubs and different people like that and not sort of designers and i think they do look really really good that's what the back to school one was before and that's obviously what that one was the 301 coaster it does look fantastic. You could easily get all three of those, buy them three times, but I've obviously just got mine set up as the coaster itself. Then we've got some of the Lego City sets. Again, they come with really good minifigures, and it's a good building. That is a three-in-one, so you get the fire, ambulance, and police all in one. Then you've got the skate ramp, which, again, does look really, really nice. And then we have the shark tank. Now, that thing is massive, and I think that is also a very, very fair price as well. So bearing in mind, we haven't looked at any of the boxes. It's just stuff that is on display. I do believe they have a lot more on display now than what they did beforehand and i think it really does sell all the stuff really well because obviously you can imagine each box that we're looking at like the friends for example now they will have all sorts of boxes all around it of the bits and pieces that are for sale so each cube of stuff that is built up obviously has all the product and everything around right next one i'm cheating we've already seen this this is now going to be added he says into our superhero display yes this is a massive tumbler you can tell how tight i am for space i want to try and get this driving up a wall I know it's going to look weird, but I thought we could use this as a ride. It'd be very, very interesting to see. So that's why I brought this one up. I got this a good while back and I've done nothing with it, which is very, very embarrassing indeed. But yes, as you can tell, that video with regards to all the different bits and pieces on display did look very, very good. Right, first thing, giveaway. This thing just here. This happened to be today's giveaway. I had no idea this was out yet. This is set number 40597. There will be an unboxing video for this. I know I've got the wrong camera in here. It's just the other one steaming up for some reason because it is 
really cold in here today. So 40597, hunt that one down. It comes with a nice little pirate. It's like a little treasure cove. And this will work very, very well with the, um, obviously the pirate ship, if you've got the pirate ship. And the other giveaway that they did a while back with the pirate slide as well. So I'm hopefully going to put all of those together and make a nice little pirate themed area in my theme park. So that is number one giveaway. Number two giveaway is this. Now I'm assuming... It is a pirate treasure pack, so because it's obviously all to do with Halloween. So this is set number 40515. You can see it's got all sorts of different bits and pieces in there, hopefully. You can see that it, it's got the shark, you've got other little bits and bobs in there, you've got steering wheels and stuff like that. So what I could potentially do is just have that as a derelict thing thrown around, because I have got either side of this camera all of the pirate figures there and I am thinking of making a full-blown pirate display with potentially the new Viking set and the other pirate boat but that won't happen until next year because at the moment the focus point is all to do with Marvel and DC so we've had one Marvel thing we've had a DC thing I know I cheated on the tumblr yes but I've got ideas for that so keep your eyes peeled for the disaster series like I've said because all of this will get built unboxing videos and then you guys and girls are gonna have to help me place where the different bits and pieces are going to happen I've got to try and get most of this built before the new Avengers Tower comes out which is going to be very very painful now moving on to this one next Marvel set now this I picked up in a huge huge sale this was over 80 pounds off well over £80 off, I think, because obviously you know what this is on the LEGO website. It is very, very expensive. This has been in a sale in the UK for ages. It goes all the way down from 220 down to 140 150 160 all the way back down again. Then I picked it up for the lowest price it's ever been with further sale bits and pieces added on as well. So I was very, very lucky with this. I held out for this one for ages and ages because I knew we wanted to be doing bits and pieces within this and I wanted to get it and yada 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 and the second it came out of Costco the same day as it came out of the Lego store I refused to pay the Lego store prices I'm sorry because there's no way Costco can have it for 180 and the Lego store has it for 220 so you know full well when it hits the UK retailers it's going to drop down cheaper than that and it did so I saved a good amount of money and also with that tumbler that we've just had to look at as well he says as he smashes something off there that tumbler was another large amount off what was that that was another 50 so i've saved over 100 pounds easily over 100 pounds off those two sets for just waiting so there is a game to be played at the moment because the prices that we can get in a sale do not cover double vip points or vip points either now one thing that i have picked up which i don't know what you guys and girls are thinking of this this is the what I think the main event. You guys might start laughing. Now, before I get to it, this was the bag in question. Look at the size of this. This thing is absolutely massive. So that's what they gave it to me in. This thing is huge. So it's going to come in handy, hopefully, for future sets. And I can just put boxes in there and move stuff about. Now, I have it in the shipper box because that's how they gave it to me. It is currently underneath this table, which is... Oh, he says, as he's about to knock everything else off that's behind me. It's not exactly I the deal. So this is it just here. Any guesses what this is? I have been doing polls and polls for weeks and months with regards to what should be the next big set. I was about to get a certain set, which I think a lot of people would have wanted, but then we are probably two days after the announcement of the new Avengers Tower with regards to the leaked images. And it just makes sense me sorting out the rest of the superhero section. It's a set that I've never looked at so much. Thanks to Jay's Toy Collection UK as well, because we have gone through every single film on this with regards to is it accurate? What's the merge? I don't know whether to do this live with everybody. I am tempted to build this live, the anticipation, I know. Um, or just get it built, do an unboxing video, and then just get it into the display. Let us know what you think, because it's going to be an odd one, but I have got a perfect place to put this. So that is going to be in our disaster series. We're going to have a DC disaster video where we're going to put all the different bits and pieces up and we're going to try and put the bat wing up on the wall as well. That's why I wanted the massive tumbler climbing up one of the walls going over this. So hopefully that might have given it a way of what it actually is. But I don't know if I can actually breathe because I am pinned between two tables and it would be upside down as well. Let me spin it round. The plan was never to do this up here. It's just horrific weather outside. 
I didn't want to get all of this wet. So, there we go. That is what this is. So it is a huge thing. As you can see, it's in the box. I need to get it out the box. I might as well just do it now because there's no point trying to pretend that I'm not going to break anything. I just have on the Guardian ship. So this is now going to be the most awkward unboxing video you'll ever see. That is, again, another piece of the Guardian ship gone. You know, you don't think something, think something through. Right, here we go. Sounds like something underneath there. I don't even want to know what that was. I don't want to know what that was either, all that. Right. Get that over there. That can go into the recycling. That can go there. There's another chunk of that. Right, this is it. So here we go. I am very, very, very much looking forward to getting this done. Uh, the decision was made at the Swindon convention, basically. There's a massive video up. It's about an hour and four minutes long of a convention that I went to in Swindon. There's one gentleman up there that had this and it was all lit up. And I saw the detail properly for the first time and I was sold. Yes, I know it's going to be an awkward thing if you want to display it on the shelf, but I am going to have this open on display in a corner with all of the theme park footpath going around. And what the plan is, is to have the big UCS uh, tumbler climbing up the wall behind it, all going well. And if that doesn't work, I have a backup because we've got this little thing just here. So that is it. That is the world's weirdest unboxing video for all the Marvel and DC stuff. So just a quick recap. We have got the uh, final battle from obviously the Spider-Man film. We have got the big tumbler that I need to get built. That's a good couple of thousand pieces. We've got the Doctor Strange set and we've got this. So all of this I want to get in and then we're going to have a look at what is behind you which is obviously where the camera is sort of propped up with regards to um, all the little bits and pieces that I want to try and get. And then obviously we've got the Avengers Tower. So keep your eyes peeled for the Disaster series because that is where we are putting all of these different bits and pieces together. Kind of pinned myself in a little bit doing this, but again, at the same time, at least you guys can go see what this is. And then it does come with all of those minifigures across the top. So it does look very, very, very smart. And then again, you've got all these different bits and pieces on the back. Let me know if you'd like me to build this live. And then we can just do this as a weekly thing live. I can just basically, because I can actually create some space in here to do it up here live. So I can actually leave it in situ where it's going to get built. So that is a good potential option. And we'll do that every Sunday. So if that's something that you want to do, we can do this every Sunday afternoon, about four o'clock, three, four o'clock UK time. If it's something that you're not interested in, then I won't bother. And I'll just get the thing unboxed, get it built, and then we can just get it added to the display. But guys, let us know what you think. Let us know if I've made the right decisions or not. There is other little bits and pieces that I need to add in. So there is another Marvel thing just just here which is the no not that one there is a car somewhere that i think is down in the other area so that i get, I get added into the display at some point but i picked all of these up over the last couple of months it wasn't a, it wasn't a one day purchase not a massive fan of doing big haul videos because it, i personally find it's a little bit showy off but at the same time we're all in it for the same reason and we know what these things cost so if you can actually save a good amount of money it's definitely worth doing but let us know i'm going to now try and untangle myself because i've got boxes absolutely everywhere so guys if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel that'd be absolutely fantastic but as always thank you very much for watching do not take care and i'll see you in the next one Ta -da.